Copycat. Sir Edward Young exposed Meg's obsession with Catherine by using Princess of Wales style at NYC Award. Recently, the former royal aide who was blasted in Prince Harry's memoir, Edward Young, has raised his voice to expose Meghan Markle's dirty obsession with Princess of Wales' Catherine by using her hairstyle at the Miss Foundation Women of Vision Awards. Just a few weeks after the coronation, the former royal staffer, who was referred to as B by Prince Harry in his biography Spare, left the palace. Sir Young personally disclosed Meghan Markle's fascination with Catherine because he hasn't lost his regard for or allegiance to the royal family. Sir Edward Young specifically claimed that, per one of his sources, Meghan Markle bought this award by paying Theresa Younger, the president and CEO of the Miss Foundation, and Gloria Steinem $1 million. Meghan also displayed her envy for Catherine by sporting the same haircut and wearing a gold suit as the Princess of Wales. Additionally, Sir Young said that Meghan hired journalists on purpose to attend the awards event, which led the security staff to push her out of the back entrance of the venue. They had to enter through the back door so that no one would boo them. Nevertheless, they endured jeers. It's the Hertz outfit and the ideal Hertz entryway right now. That's not a lie. Sir Young said that a reporter startling questioned the Sussex at the scene, quote, How do you feel being a part of two broken families? Stunned the Sussexes. A Twitter account called Evan E. also poked fun at Meghan's latest appearance, Quote, the materials for Meghan Markle's dress have been sold out. I can't believe she had at least six months to prepare and then came out looking like bedsheet. Additionally, hashtags like Meghan Markle, global laughing stock, and Harry and Meghan is a joke have been more popular on Twitter to poke fun at Meghan's gold outfit. Earlier, Queen Elizabeth's former private secretary, Sir Edward Young, who remained in post to advise King Charles, has been awarded a number of honors as he steps down from his role. Sir Young said he was honored to have served two sovereigns through historic times after staying on following the death of the late queen to support the transition from one monarch to another. The royal late leaves his post as joint principal private secretary to the king at the end of Monday after 19 years as a member of the royal household and just over a week since the coronation of King Charles. In recognition of his service, Sir Young has been granted a peerage, appointed a lord-in-waiting, a knight grand cross of the Order of the Bath, and a knight grand cross of the Royal Victorian Order. It comes sir, after Sir Young was given the codename, The Bee, in his memoir Spare, according to the Times. According to royal historian Robert Lacey, Sir Edward Young is accused of being personally responsible for failing to find a role in the firm for the Duchess of Sussex. Prince Harry reportedly holds him responsible for the decision to strip the Duke and Duchess of Sussex of their taxpayer-funded security, writing, The bee was oval-faced and fuzzy and tended to glide around with great equanimity and poise. He was so poised that people didn't fear him. Big mistake, sometimes their last mistake. The royal aide became private secretary to the late Queen in September of 2017, succeeding Sir Christopher Gate, who would have brought a wealth of experience to his contemporary role supporting the king. Sir Young served alongside the King's principal private secretary, Sir Clive Anderson, who paid tribute to Lord Young. Edward has been an outstanding colleague and a dear friend for almost two decades. He made an invaluable contribution to the closing years of the late Queen's reign and to helping support the process of transition. He will be much missed by us all. He previously worked for Granada as head of corporate communications and for Barclays, where he held a range of financial and executive roles. Sir Young said, I'm honored to have served two sovereigns through historic times. I am deeply touched by their kind words and tributes as I venture beyond the palace gates, but look forward to staying in close contact in years ahead.